sleep. What you doing? <laughs> what you what were you doing? I thought like why? Hello, <laughs> surprise, I'm still here. So basically, I had sleep, I had trouble sleeping um from I would say 16, 17 until 23, 24. I don't have the exact age range, but I know it was obviously a couple years. And while living on this earth, I'm living on this earth, I say until 24 because now I'm older and I still have trouble sleeping sometimes, but not as much as before. So these are like um A tips. Oh, that's what I should put. A tips to I would say sleep better and does preventing sleeping problems. And I know some people have medical conditions for their sleeping problems, everything. I always visit a doctor. I am not a professional medical advisor, but I will get to a doctor appointment thing and this too of my experience with it. So here, I'm going to go from obvious to less obvious. That seems fair. So again, stay tuned till the end because obvious to less obvious and yeah so first things first is don't drink alcohol right before sleeping don't drink it maybe that isn't so obvious don't drink alcohol right before sleeping and i'm gonna explain you from my experience what happened and that i learned when i was i will say more towards 18 i went to school in europe so at 18 you can drink but again, my sleeping problem started before that. But we'll start with that. Tip number one. Don't drink alcohol right before sleeping. Like, to me, it makes you wake up at night. It makes you wake up in the middle of the night. And you have to, and it takes time to fall back asleep when you wake up in the middle of the night. I've noticed. So I recommend you do at least, like, last drink should be at least three hours before you sleep. So you don't have um that middle of the night waking up. But again, that's for me. Personally, that's what happens to me. Tip number two. Two, 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 two. Um, stop drinking as much coffee. This one is obvious. Stop drinking as much coffee. Um, tea. Tea with like caffeine, like tea with otein and French stain, but maybe he has caffeine. Tea with caffeine, energy drinks, sodas. All of that in the day. Don't drink as much. Especially, especially don't drink before you go to sleep. What are you doing? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? I thought, like, why? <laughs> like, because those drinks make you hyper throughout the day. And I know, like, energy drink, they'll be like, but you crash anyway. But the thing is that sometimes you feel tired and you do crash whatever. But you don't be to the far in a sleep stage. Does that make sense? Like, you'll be feeling tired. Then you'll go to sleep. But you still have trouble falling asleep. You just feel tired. Because it, like, drains you. Because you got that boost of energy. And then it's just, you're tired. You want to lay down. But you just, that's, not, that's not helping you fall asleep. It makes you tired. But does not make you sleepy enough to fall asleep quickly. It can. But usually, to me, again, personal. Everything from my personal experience. It does not help. So I would reduce that. Um, three, you you like drinking tea? Drink herbal tea. That doesn't have caffeine in it. It's infusion in French. And it's like, I used to use Verven. It's Verbena in English. I would put Google saying Verbena if I still can't say that word properly. But I used, that used to like, like calm me and I used to sleep after. Now, since I moved to the U.S. since France, I use um, chamomile tea, but it's honey vanilla chamomile tea. That's the flavor. Um, because chamomile tea by itself, I find tastes a little bitter and I need a little sweetness. And because even you can put honey in it before, so I can drink it without any like sugar, added sugar, whatever in my teas. But you shouldn't be afraid to put honey or a little bit of sugar just don't go too much because depending on the person i know it doesn't affect me i would still fall asleep but depending on the person um that can also wake you up too much the too much sugar in that but i find it does help me but not everyone likes teas so if you do not like tea i highly recommend you take hot water squeeze half cut half a one a lime or lemon whatever you have Squeeze it into the water 
And if you have ginger, you can put a little bit of ginger that's good for your throat. And you drink that. Tr drink hot some warm water. Did I say warm the water? If I didn't, warm the water. It doesn't have to be hot, hot. Warm the water, squeeze the lime, put some ginger, good for your throat. And if you don't like ginger, don't put the ginger, put the lime in the hot water. And I've noticed, because I had a cold one tonight that was out of tea, and I drank that before sleeping, and I was knocked out. So if you don't like tea, you can try that. Um, Number four. Ooh. um, Black are light and sound. You can either buy the blackout curtains to make your place a little darker if you have windows in your home. And if not, you can just like, how to say, I have to put a warning after this. You can just have the sleeping thing. And also when I say black sound, have like earplugs. This is, my earplugs are like French. Again, <laughs> I was in France. Uh, maybe some someone in the comments, if y'all want me to find earplugs in America or something, have an earplug of you, tell me. I can like check it out because it's true. I haven't really searched since I have the same ones from Europe. Still perfectly fine. But we can do that. If that is interested to anybody, just please tell me in the comments. But definitely, like just block the lights and sound. I'm going to admit that now, just warning. It makes you dependent on them in the sense that now I don't feel comfortable sleeping without them. Honestly, uh, I feel like something's lacking, but I have the best sleep when I have them on. I have the best sleep when I block out all light and sound. Like, so, so good. My sleep be so nice. <laughs> like, it's such a difference when I discover that. And for instance, I discover this little, I'll say, magical hint magical hair magical tip whatever besides being logical because me that should have been logic sun wakes you up but the thing is that i was in finland and i was where we were sleeping was an abandoned factory legally <laughs> but um the lights were always on if i recall well and i just was like i can't sleep and so i took a scarf that i had so you don't even need to bite i can just have a scarf and i tied it around and i just went to sleep and after for the airplugs, I ended up doing that because when I lived in Spain, uh, I had a roommate who used to make noise. So if you want to know more about all of those events, please follow me on Twitch. Back at maybe underscore Salissa. That's my channel. So it's twitch.tv slash maybe underscore Salissa. I literally read my diaries. And so I talk about those situations. Um on the on the twitch poop and i also run them as we runs on mondays and sundays when it's not the diary it's the podcast that i'll also link in the description and it's probably gonna be a picture somewhere but i also have a podcast on fridays and we talk about various subjects and so yeah those are some links Ooh, just like the herbal tea was more i always was someone who drinks tea but the herbal tea before that i mentioned was something that i did because when i visit um the doctor because i wasn't sleeping with my mother at the time because again i started 16 17 he was like i can give you medication but my mother was like oh no no medication even i was afraid to be like dependent on medication so he was like well you can go to a pharmacy and get drops and stuff but those drops things like they weren't really helping so it was mostly teas that was helping again herbal tea not with a caffeine tea but even like tea you'd make naturally with like bush <laughs> like bush tea that's what we call it in the caribbean i'm caribbean bush tea i find i don't know maybe there's no caffeine when you make it yourself i don't know but that helps me sleep also way better so i recommend if you can just make the tea yourself and not buy it i from your natural plants yeah uh if anyone's interested on me trying to do bush tea and showing y'all maybe that should be a thing <laughs> um tip five filter your phone screen with uh i guess it's kind of filter i don't know the app if you don't have it on your phone already, just get, um, just get it. Just get it. It's free. You can find an app, Twilight. That was the app that I used to use. But now my phone has it, like one that comes with it. But Twilight, you can just, they're not sponsoring this video, okay? But I think it's called Twilight and you download it. Not the book with the vampires and the werewolves and the loves. The one about the app that makes it red or yellow, if that still exists. If it doesn't. There's one and it'll be free. Don't buy it. <laughs> just and you put it yellow or like yet or, or red. And you don't even need to remember. You can set a time so you don't forget. And easy. And that it might be placebo effect. I'm not a doctor. When I learned about that, I did find I felt more tired. And it was easier, if that makes sense. 
Oh, if not, if you discipline, distance yourself one hour before you sleep from your like electronics. Then distance yourself. If you can do it, super. Um, back on your phone. Don't answer your friends or family or anybody just before sleeping. That I know you're like, what? That's not nice. Answer them when you wake up. It's not an emergency. They will call if it was an emergency. When I say don't answer, like, don't text. Don't text them. Don't answer text. Blah, blah, blah. No social media. No, none of that. Because once you answer them, they answer back and you start a conversation. You might not realize the time. And then you go into a rabbit hole, deep deep dive into texting and social medias and they send you youtube video they send you a uh, instagram story and then you're and like then it's 3 a.m and you're watching why grass goes green and not yellow on youtube i don't know if that exists <laughs> but i'm just saying you're gonna get into a trap seven seven i'm like seven it still makes seven i'm like five it still makes seven um fine this is the like, this is the real this is the real talk now the that real talk. Find one of the source of your restlessness. If you're the type that when you go to sleep your brain starts to race like a lot and all like ideas, things you got to do, things you didn't do, regrets, your most embarrassing moments, all of that. If that's happening, that's what starts me to sleep. I'm not trying to find a solution. I'm not trying to find a solution to all your problems. We always, it's life, you always be like this. This is how it goes, like this. That's how it goes. You're always was gonna have something to maybe keep you up at night. I'm not telling you the solution for that. But I'm telling you, if you find the source, you're gonna find a lot of things. I finished one of my diplomas there. I realized that I was like, oh my goodness. I still was not sleeping, even though the diploma was good. Not properly, not good. And after I was realizing, oh my goodness, I'm not sleeping good because I was in stressing and I was in denial because I realized I was stressed, but I was still in denial that the source of my stress, which is um, school related and certain people, sometimes it's people, sometimes it's people, honestly, sometimes people in your life that are stopping you from sleeping at night. And when you, and you can be, and you are in denial of that. And it's not mean, it's not mean, maybe it is mean, but you ha you can't say it's mean if it's for your self betterment and a sense of health, because not sleeping and the end it's gonna be bad on your health. So if you need to just speak to somebody less or um, try to divert your attention to something before sleeping to not worry about a problem, it's not bad. It's not finding a solution for it, but at least you're finding the source and you can at least sleep and you can eventually, the more and more you sleep, the more and more you'll have a chance to solve your problems because you'll be well rested and have a brain that can actually function properly. And it's not always saying, why am I so tired every day, all of the time. It's have a routine, very simple. As in sleep, try your best to sleep the same time and wake up the same time every day with if you want with one hour waking up like sleeping and waking up of difference like if you one day wake up five instead of six okay that's not bad or one day sleep 10 instead of nine one day sleep one instead of midnight if you sleep midnight but still try to get six to eight hours i honestly i'm like eight hours don't get that six get eight hours shoot to get eight hours because you're at least aim you'll at least get six that's what i noticed for me don't shoot for minimum six shoot for eight so you will at least get six because that's that's the downfall people don't shoot for six and get less shoot for eight hours so you can get at least six that's why i say shoot for eight hours so you can get at least six and then be able to sleep well that's my advice you do what you want, fam. But that's my advice. So this is advice. This is advice. And as usual, please um like this video and subscribe to it. Or you're going to get spray. You're going to get spray. You don't want to get spray. You want to get sprayed? No. You want to get sprayed? No. So you're going to like. Correct? You're going to like it. Good. Good. Like it now. Like. Like it now. Like it. Like it. Like it now. Oh, you're going to get sprayed. <laughs> okay. Bye, until next video.